Hey guys, welcome back to my corner of the internet and and this is a podcast uh, where we talk about everything plus a whole lot of gay shit as the title of the podcast suggests. Okay, period. Don't play with it, don't play, don't play with it, don't play with it, don't play with it. Obviously, if I sound different because I am I am I am sick. I am recovering from a cold and I just feel shitty. But anyway, I'm here, I am back showing up for myself and for you guys and I'm also having a l I'm I'm having a, a bad day, so let's 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 get into it. So, first things first, it was Valentine's the other day, and girl, I just feel like Valentine's this year was not as hype as it was last year. I don't know. I, I, I just, when, I, when I look at things, I just feel like it wasn't as hype as it was last year. That's just my observation. So, anywho, obviously, I am done with my leave. I am back to work as per usual, like minding my own black business, trying to get this coin. Okay, okay. So, yeah. But as I was on leave, I have been binge watching a lot of content, uh, a lot of movies. I don't really watch movies, but for this particular leave, I was actually sitting down and just like taking the time to watch movies. So I was watching P Valley, and P Valley is an amazing series. But I I feel like everyone has had already watched it before me, honestly, truly. But I, I one thing about it, two things about it for sure. I don't give a fuck. Yeah that part so i was watching pivali and it took me back to, because i feel like pivali what i feel like it is a fact um when you watch pivali there's definitely a whole lot of like people doing and doing things and it took me back to a time when i was younger yeah so i in coming story time if you cannot already tell oh also before i continue with story times girl i hope you are subscribed i hope you have turned on your post notifications to get notified every single time your girl aka me uploads a new video so yeah um i definitely feel like and i know for a fact that sex sells but i just feel like today's today's in today's like film uh film world not even a thing i don't know uh, but in today's society the kind of movies us guys are watching, the kind of series us guys are watching, everything has a whole lot of sex in it. In it, like look, at, girl. Every, every movie I'm watching, every five minutes, people are just banging. I'm just like, girl, when, when, when did this happen? When, when? And I feel like if I personally am seeing this, I feel like people who are younger than me have so much access to sexual content and i don't know about y'all but i'm a nine am i really i don't know but i feel like the era in which I, in which i grew up in we were outside okay we were outside we were playing outside we were outside being kids and i feel like the kids of nowadays everyone every parent is just like giving their children a phone um people have like kids nowadays have so much access to the internet and let me just say this uh I don't know if, if, it's, if it's gonna sound weird or I don't know but I personally I don't like films whereby people are just like doing the do every five minutes I, I'm still gonna watch it but I'm gonna like skip those parts because obviously I don't want to put myself into temp temptation and also I have also been invested by this the plot of the movie so I'm still gonna watch it but I'm gonna I'm gonna skip those parts nine times out of ten if i'm being honest and let's unless it's like a queer sexual scene i'm gonna watch that but if it's heterosexual i am most probably gonna skip it anyway that's not my point i just feel like younger people are getting are seeing things that they shouldn't actually be seeing and that is the responsibility of the parents but at the same time there's only so much that a parent can do to make sure that their kids don't see content which is not content for children and as i was saying when i was growing up we were pretty much outside all the time, unless you're watching Cartoon Network, which I don't think any other network can ever beat Cartoon Network. Argue with your mama, not me, because I'm not the one. But let me tell you, we were watching Cow and Chicken. Um, on Saturdays, we were just... That was the only thing we were watching. Then the rest, the 90% of the time, we was outside playing. I'm talking about... I, even, I remember times when my mom... May she rest in peace. When my mom would just look at me and she just she just look at me like, okay, when you talk, when you are nanny, because you have your any you've been outside playing so much, you have sand in your hair, dust in your eyelashes, yo, it was just it, we just we just had a time nineties baby. Please comment down below because I know we had a good.
good time okay so in connection to that um let me just say um uh, let me just say let me just like this is me digressing but also like inter like making it make sense so um there was a time like when i was growing up yeah when i was being raised by my aunties and uncles um i think i was in class five class five or class six yeah so there was this one day uh we'd, we'd go to church together then come back home so and the rule in our house was if i find you watching something don't change the channel immediately i walk in because what were you watching what were you watching that you had to change the channel like come on now so that was like a rule in our household so anyway we were from church yeah it was a sunday it was a very sunny sunday like the ones we are having now yeah one of those so it was a very sunny sunday and was just boring it was just like a very boring day so we went home um we had lunch and we were all sitting in the living room me it was me my uncle my auntie and my cousin and if if i was in class five where i think we we're like five years apart so he was just chilling watching tv and when i tell you it was an innocent movie you were watching then boom tell me why we don't see a whole og within the movie which was innocent but now it's a whole og and they're all doing the doing things and i'm just like girl should i get up and go should i sit and it's any it was the most uncomfortable three slash i don't know if it was three minutes it was the most uncomfortable three minutes of my life and i just i was just thinking to myself so i'm back i was saying that that was the most uncomfortable three minutes of my life and the thing about it is in that household we never had that conversation after like we never had the sex talk or anything like that after so it was just like so awkward and i was just like girl if I have seen this at the age, if I saw this at the age that I was back then, I'm just thinking, what about the kids we have nowadays? So, like, please make sure, like, if you're a parent, please make sure that you are just, like, and, and I know there's so much, there's only so much you can do as a parent, but please make sure you are, like, doing your due diligence in raising, um, making sure, like, your, your child is not a pervert, like, just make sure you are proof watching or like you have like some type of barriers where you can protect your child against seeing things that they shouldn't be seeing at the at an early age and definitely do have the talk with them because personally i never had the talk with any anyone like the only information i was getting about this kind of things is from my friends and or from the internet so yeah that was something like to start this to start the video so I think that I want to us to talk about is please, please, as a society, let us just like resist the urge to speak about people's weight because you never know what someone is going through. You never know if they're like going or they've been diagnosed with like, like a terminal illness where they have lost weight or gained weight or maybe it doesn't even have to be like that drastic. Maybe they just feel some type of way about how they look and you are just there pinpointing. And I know this as a black person. In black communities, you get body shamed 90% of the time. It's either you're too skinny, you're too this, you're too that. And I just feel like resist the ad to talk about someone someone else's weight, especially unless they bring it up themselves. Don't, don't be out here telling people that you look big, you look small. You look, don't, don't do it because you never know somebody, someone's triggers. So please my or rather what i'm telling you to do my contributing to society is not bringing up anyone's insecurities or anyone's or like just keep your mouth shut like if you don't have nothing good to say or you don't have if you don't have anything good to say don't say anything at all point blank that's just how i feel personally so yeah so completely out of nowhere let me just say i I like when someone is, you know, in, within the community, within the LGBTQ plus community, I love when people identify as she or her, even if you can be, I know people who are non-binary who use the terms he, she, they, them. I thoroughly enjoy that because 
you're not gonna get mad or pissed off at me if I call you she or her or I refer to you as her. I just like, can we just, within the community, let's just extend grace to each other because you just realized this about yourself. So, can I, please, if, if I mess up, I'm sorry, and please, please extend the grace extend the grace that's what that, that's all i'm gonna say because this it's it's new to us okay and let's just like extend grace to each other so if i mess up your pronouns i am so sorry yeah because what it's still it's still not as embedded in us as okay yeah let me evolve but let give me the room to like adjust but personally i enjoy i thoroughly love people who can be referred to as she or her because i just feel like it makes it easier for me anyway so the last thing i want to talk about so let me just talk about today's experience because i feel like hey today's video has been tough on me um trying to like articulate my thoughts and my feelings it has been tough for me on this particular day i don't know why but anyway, let me just digress. Let me, let me just say, today, today I did this fit and it's so cute. And let me just say, oh, I feel good. I look, when, I, when I look good, I feel good. Yeah. Uh, so anyway, back to today. Today I was working out and I, have, I hadn't worked out the whole of January because of some personal reasons. Hey, let me tell you, my life has been kicking me in the tushy. So January I wasn't working out because of personal reasons, okay? February comes around, yeah. I still wasn't working out, um, so I just started working out. I, w I wasn't work working out as much as I would want to. Uh, but lately I've been working out three times a week, and that has been amazing. I'm definitely loving that for me. But today's workout was like really, 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 really tough on me. I was just like, what? I know great bodies don't just happen, they are worked for, but oh, let me tell you, girl, I was struggling today. But anyway, this is the second I have worked out. I worked out yesterday and today, so I only have like one more time to work out uh, this week. And that, that, that feels good. That feels amazing. And yeah, I feel like I am slowly but surely becoming aligned with the version of myself that I want to be. And my, bi my, my biggest... <laughs> Somebody asked me this week, why do you work out? I think you have a nice body. And I'm just like, girl... Honestly and truly, my only motivation to work out is to look good naked for myself, for myself. Honestly, I feel like you shouldn't like attach outcomes, you shouldn't attach your self-worth to any outcome. But I feel like it's not such a, it's not such a bad thing sometimes to like, kind of like put, it pushes, okay for me it pushes me a bit more than it would. Like, I feel like I apply pressure on myself because I know I can do better. And if that is something, if that is something that, that honestly motivates me, I'm going to do it. Also, I, have, I was also sick and I, I still am sick. I'm not feeling too good. But I had to show up for myself. So if, if this video was all over the place, I... This was just me trying to show up authentically. I'm not always like... 100% aligned. I'm not always like sure if this is what I want to put out. Sometimes I, mean, I even ask myself um, but let me just not say that because it's something that is between me and God. Um, but let me just like give you a hint. Uh, is this something that I was actually called to do or am I just doing it because I enjoy doing it? I want to do things that I am called to do because I feel like we are always guided by the universe and by this supreme being. I wonder if this is my life's purpose sometimes to like be that person in your ear to remind you to just be kinder to someone else because everybody everybody's going through shit. So if we can be kinder to other people, I think it's gonna make the world better overall. And yeah. I I'm honestly trying to get comfortable because I have been moving around throughout this video and I have been taking, I have been doing like two to three takes, like trying to figure out if I like this or not, but I'm still going to post it because I show up for myself. Yeah, that's what we do over here. So, yeah. Thank you so much for watching this one. I'm going to, I am going to try to be better next time because I've, ah, uh, 
girl, I'm just going to see y'all in the next one because I'm losing my voice. Um, I'm losing my voice. I feel stuffy. Girl, I'm going to see you when I see you, girl. Okay? I love you. Down. And thank you for watching this one. And bye. Can y'all see my boobs? This top is so cute. I might sell it. So if you want to take me up. <laughs> brown on brown. Bye. This is take two. Uh, almost a learning one. Uh, what is it called? Hello, oh, welcome back to... Not to be Love when I, I love females. Um, 